in the world. Is he someone that has, um, you know, access to? He's a professor of social work. Okay. He's he's, he's a right. former military. Yeah. But I mean, but he's you not. wouldn't you don't think about this guy as like oh there's the kind of guy. Right. I mean, I would more just as like say that maybe you did this. Right. It's just relationally, he's and he's jealous. Right. Something is bad. This is it. I, I I'm, just, is bad. I'm yeah. just assuming that this isn't true for the moment, but I guess that's not so. And you have to look at it this way. Telling them this, yeah. if anything, will help them disqualify. Jenny. Right. And that's yeah. important to do. Yeah, of course. Um, do you want to give them his number? I don't. I mean, I, so I, can, I, mean, I can give them. They have I my phone. Them, I, so they, so they certainly have a ton of stuff from him. So I Googled um, Trescott. So Welcome. you Google Trescott shooting, and what what do you see? Just that you know, police investigate shooting on Trescott Drive, and it's on the news. Yeah. And unfortunately, the media here tends to get places, and they can't really stop them from being oh, outside. How often is there a shooting in like Northeast Tallahassee, right? On Trescott Drive. Not Trescott. so often. This yeah. is what I can't figure out. How did they like? How did he get to the hospital? Like, did he call nine one one? The, um, the na a neighbor, according to WCTV, mm -hmm. here. And this should be said: the police department won't release his name until they notify the family. Family, and them being in Canada puts a little bit more of a wrench into our notification because it's a little bit more difficult to do internationally. Oh but my God. the we're in the process. And we and we're really. His injuries are really terrible. The police got notified because a neighbor, is it a picture of the house? Oh my yeah. God, you can see the car. You can't right. tell it's our house. Well, yeah, right. You, you, can't, can't, you can't tell it's not your house. It certainly appears to be a house, house like your house. Yeah. It, um, and they say the 2100 block of Trescott Drive. It must be still blocked off. I bet it's going to be blocked yes. off for a while. It's a, it's certainly a crime scene, obviously a crime scene. But it's like a thorough. I mean, a lot I know, of people I know, use that as like a drive-through. Now, this other people obviously know about this. Danny did show up places today. I don't know that he had anywhere to show up today. Did yeah. he? Like, did you know? Because like it's summertime, he works from home, right? Right. But there are people. But you know, imagine if any of us fall off the grid for from eleven o'clock this morning. Any colleagues? Any, that had a meeting any, or whatever. Right, yeah. All of the stuff he does over phone. Right. Well, he and I were supposed to talk about where Ben was going to school, and it was very unlike him that I was the one who had to call him. So, like, he called early this morning. I had a repair guy at the house, and he called early this morning, and I said I left a message, and then I called him back. I have the phone record. He called at like nine. And he told me I'm gonna. He went to Premier, so he says I don't know. Like I think he went straight from dropping off the boys to go to Premier, and then he said I'm going to do an exercise class that gets out at 10:15 or 10:30, and then we can talk after that. And you remember how I had a voice thing? Like I hadn't talked to him. He was like, I know your voice is bad. Like is today work? And we can. He said we could go for a walk at the law school, or we could talk like and I have this message on my phone from him which is why I said to the officer there's no way he did this to himself like zero chance that he shot himself you know Danny I think there's zero chance zero that chance Danny would kill himself yes zero chance like this someone did this to him oh so he had plans that we would like I mean he said this at nine like we'll take a walk we'll figure this out we'll talk about school and then I called him at like 11.45 or so and left a message. Okay. And that was, I thought weird, but I thought whatever, like he's and you in a meeting. And probably or, thought, oh good, I don't have to him. But I was really anxious oh about speaking God. with him and having this be a contentious issue about where is our kid going to go to school. Oh my God. And I didn't hear from him and I didn't think too much of it. I just thought like, well, he'll just call me later. And then at around noon, I had lunch plans at one, and I was supposed to go to a friend's uh, engagement party tonight, and it's called a stack the bar engagement. So I went to go find bourbon. So I went to drive to ABC Liquors, and I went to go through Trescott, and it was blocked off. So I went around, and then I looked for bourbon, and then I got gas. That's why I was trying to show the officer, like I have receipts from all these things, but I don't know if it matters if they're at noon. I mean, obviously, like, 
I would be one of the people that they would think did it. I mean, you have certainly the most contentious relationship with Danny that anyone has. Yeah. Um, you know, but they swapped my hands. Well, fair enough. Gunpowder. They should. I mean, they asked they me should. if I washed my hands since noon, and I was embarrassed to say I hadn't. <laughs> I don't remember when I last washed my hands. Uh, yeah, no, I think Jeff is somebody that they should talk okay. to. Okay. And um, uh, I don't know of anyone else. They were asking, like, does he have gambling debt? Does he have, and I'm like, the only person he owes money to is me. Like, there's no one. <laughs> that, that was, he's like, he's a straight shooter, right? Like, he's not an alcoholic. He's not a gambler. He doesn't have a sex addiction. He doesn't, you know, like, he doesn't have any, like, weird stuff going on in his life. No, he's a difficult guy, but he's not a, That's what he was he's saying. He's like, is there anyone that hates him? And I'm like, like he's difficult, but he's... Difficult in like liked. an ivory tower kind of he's way. He's not liked, but he's not. He's not liked, but he's not hated. He's certainly not, and he has people who love him. How do his students feel? Like, is he, like, are law students receptive to him? Like, oh, this is a great... I think there's some that really like his method, and there are a lot who don't like him at all. So you say he's more disliked? He's, he's more a very feared. abrasive guy. Does he challenge you, kind of? Would that be a good... He's challenging. He loves to argue, so... He's fairly elitist, so like the students, very elitist. Oh my students felt like put down by him a lot, okay. and so they feel like insecure. And but again, we're not talking about like hateful and awful. We're talking about like difficult, right? You know, right, right. And he has colleagues who really don't like him, but um, not enough. To but this is a different, him. right? It's a like, different, right? They don't like, like him. They don't want to go to lunch with him, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. He doesn't this make is, friends easily, but it's not no. like he makes a ton of time. And he has a lot of, and he has very close connections at the temple. That's what I said. I, I mean, said he has, he's got Jewish he's, community. He's, and like, he's, he's important in the Jewish community, and he's, and he's loved, and he's um, and there are serious academic. Two Jewish temples in Tallahassee or just one? It's kind of complicated. There's, There's Temple Israel, least. which is the Reform Synagogue. There's Shomri Torah, which is the conservative one that he belonged to. Okay. And then there's Chabad, which is sort of like... It's not really clear. It's kind of like a proselytizing um, thing, um, and he would he like would donate money there and bring the kids to events there and spend time there. So he was sort of affiliated with two of them and bring the kids to stuff at, Sh at, at Temple at Israel, Israel too. too. I mean, he's he's very very connected across the Jewish community. Yeah, he's very involved. He's, he's also very like he's you know, he had a major Jewish education, so. He's extremely knowledgeable about Judaism, and you know he cares deeply about how people interpret scripture and law and rule and practice. And he's involved in all those sort of debates at the community level. And you know, it, you know he's very you know it, it would be hard to un overestimate how involved he has been uh, in the Jewish community. as a lot. And it was kind of one of the reasons why we got divorced is I just, like, I'm Reform, I'm kind of culturally Jewish, like, we just had really different religious um, perspectives. Um, oh, darling. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a fucking nightmare. I just, I, I didn't want you to be married to him. This was not the method. Well, that's what this I said to the, the officer. I was like, we had a rough time, but this has been a terrible he's time. the father of my children. Oh, right. And things were entering a new phase where he has this girlfriend and he's out of town a lot, and that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't that's why I know there's just, I mean, given his personality and everything, there's no way that he did this. No, he didn't. Do it. He, he had didn't plans do it. to be out of town. He was leaving on Saturday. And he was delighted like, with Amy, and he's been delighted with this. Yeah. And delighted, delighted with the boys, and yeah. and de delighted with. No, with he's is he 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 didn't do this. So somebody did. I mean, he was angry and upset about the divorce. Really, really angry at Wendy. Really, really angry. Um, but, but really pleased with things that how things were going to go. It's forward. been two years, and things for him were a lot better. Do you mind if I get Investor Iceman to kind of tell him about Jeff? Jeff, I think you should okay. do that. Let me go grab him, okay? I can't believe you brought your own drink here. 
Well, I wasn't sure how long I would be here. <laughs> I was thirsty. I had just arrived home to pour, say, a glass of wine when they called and said, don't you want to go to the police department? I said, Jay, no, not really. He believed me. I wish I had a like. I was home working on a paper that's due. Well, you know you have that. You know you'll I have. I sent it in. Like I sent edits to you'll someone. You'll have. You'll have. I hope they have the time log. Of course like, they will. Of course they will. They. I mean, all of that is evident. You know, you you will. You know, you don't. I understand why they think it would be me, but of course it would be you. If it's not you, I mean, I would. I mean, Jeff would be my vote. Now, again, just going by, you know, likely. I agree with you. It can't be an accident. He didn't do this. Jeff, I mean, I hope the body didn't I know Jeff didn't do it, but I mean, I don't think Jane, Danny did. Somebody shot Danny. Like, to death. Holy shit. He's, I didn't even know that he was still living. Sarah that told me that, and then I started freaking out. I was like, I want to get the boys over there. Like, is he scary looking? Because I want, like, if he's not going to make it, but he's okay. Or he's not, like, I wanted the boys to be able to be Isn't with there, him. Isn't there, shouldn't somebody be with I know, that's what I said. I was like, he's there and he's all alone. Like, just, I was like, is he with. Shouldn't somebody who loves him? Yes, yes. Should I go? I don't know about you. Someone needs to go there. I know, I know. I mean, he's by himself. I, I mean, really? He's by himself? I don't think there's. They haven't called the family yet. They haven't called his parents. They were like, what are his parents' names? They're asking. I think, how about the rabbi? Oh, that's a really good idea. How about the rabbi? Can you ask them? Yeah, we'll do that so right now. So there's no rabbi at Shomri, but Rabbi Schneuer Oyerman, that's really his name. Yeah. He, um, <laughs> him or Jack Romberg. Oh, they need to go. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Yes, especially if he's not going to make it. Yeah, so that they can. to be blessed. If they God, can. He needs a blessing. Okay, yeah, thank you so much for being here. I was sitting in this room by myself, losing my mind. I was at lunch with Janine and Ritu, I don't know if you know them, friends of mine, and these officers walk in, and I just, like, I, we just finished, I ate a lunch, like, I had a whole delicious lunch, and they're like, we need to, are you Wendy? We need to speak with you, and I was like, oh my god, what's, are the boys okay? Like, and they're like, the boys are fine, and then I thought, oh my god, like, What's, What's that going? Like, who's finding me here? And they wouldn't tell me. And so he got. He said, "I need you to get in the car." And so he drove me. The, and I, I started to, like, I wasn't. Cr I just was like, "What? What's going on?" And they're like, "Your husband." And I said, "Ex-husband." And they're like, "Ex-husband." So they they didn't have the like. Yeah, well, I mean, how do they know? They're just they're just starting this. So they thought we were still married. And so I I was telling him everything, you know. And then I was thinking, oh my god, now they probably think I'm you, a suspect. I should. But of course you're a suspect, and you're you're a smart suspect. You should be the suspect. But you know, I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get framed for a crime, right? You know, and you, it is in your absolute interest to, in every way, tell them ever, everything, everything, because to the extent that if they don't know whoever did, if, if, if this goes unsolved, I'm that's so the worst scared thing for of your so boys. So many things, Jane. Like, do you think whoever did this is gonna come after the kids? I'm very worried about that. And I think I don't want to be like left alone in that. Like I want protection. I'm scared. I don't know who this is. I don't. Okay. Well, I think. I mean, you should maybe go and stay. I think you should go stay. Well, they can you go to Lynn and David's? Ellen. Yeah. Um, yeah. You should. They have lots of bedrooms. I could just. You stay should. There for I mean, the boys bit. are there. Yeah. Um, and. I need to pick up a few need, things. Like I would need my contact well, lens case. Just go there. I mean. I'm really glad you're here. I am losing my shit. I wish they'd Jane, come back. This is, they keep doing this where like, they leave for long periods of time, and it's 5.30 already? Mm -hmm. I've been here for a while.